So why everyone is continuously talking about Whiskey and Davido's beef? I thought carefully about it. Then I realized that behind every beef, there is a pomo. <laughs> Let me tell you why I say so. When people are beefing you, there is a reason why they are beefing you. And the reason why Brunner Boy and Whiskey refuse to accept Davido as their competitor is because they feel Davido is less talented than they are. But in reality, Davido may not actually be less talented, but Davido is very hardworking. Like I will always say, it is another thing for them to write a song for you. It is another thing for you to be able to carry that song more than the person that writes the song. And if you can, as you can see, Davido has been trying tirelessly to win these Grammys. He started featuring international artists and recently he had to feature Angelique Kijo because like, she's like the mother of the Grammys. Perhaps that will actually help him to win the Grammy. But in this video, I have some advice for the video. I know people might be like, <laughs> poor man, the advice rich man. Well, I have the experience. Davido is just like the regular Afro pop artist. Davido is not doing anything extraordinary aside doing Afro pop. So therefore, Davido's sound have, have a particular style. Davido has a particular style. When you listen to him, you know this is the video. So if I would advise Davido, the first thing I would tell Davido is to get good songwriters. Now I'm not talking about the songwriters at the top. Davido needs to look below. Do you understand? Get songwriters that are very talented. Do you understand? The upcore means are very strong. I hosted a music camp about a few weeks ago. And the songwriter that came to my camp, they were crazy. Like, we recorded 10 songs at that camp, and I can bet you that that song, those songs that we recorded at that camp, it is more better than the song at the charts. I'm not capping. But the song we got at that camp from those artists and those songwriters we are superb. Which simply means that there are so many talented songwriters out there that the video needs to reach out to. I know some of them are in his DM. But if this video gets to him, he can contact me. I have songwriters plenty. I can give you some good songwriter that will give you some amazing song. Somebody even contacted, somebody even contacted me about a few weeks ago. He said, I have a song for Davido. How can I reach him? And I told him, I don't know to reach Davido now. War. So if Davido can get a good set of songwriters, he can be able to change his style from just being an Afro pop to Afro fusion to something different, something unique. Anyways, to win the Grammy is not by talent because these Grammy people, <laughs> they are so crazy. They can pick someone that is less talented over someone that is talented. They don't even care about the clout. They care about the creativity you put in that work. If you notice, right, about Whiskey, Davido, and Burner Boy, Davido's album doesn't last on the charts. Recently, his, his song, Dodo, which, which he has released so many years ago, is coming back to the charts. Congratulations to him. And this is the first time this thing is happening. Unlike Whiskey and Bonner Boy, their project that they released years ago is still on the chart today. They are still charting. And even after three, four, five years, their album still tops the chart. You understand? Now, the reason why Davido's album doesn't come back to the chart is Davido doesn't release a body of work. Davido's album is usually a collection of singles instead of the body of work. But if you can get the songwriters, it can connect the dots, right? So the songwriter will give him some amazing songs. Then he will pick for his next album, he will pick a particular theme for that album. Then all, then all the songwriter will work towards creating sound, creating sound that will relate to that title of the album. Yes, his last album, Timeless, was amazing. But at the same time, sorry to say, the songs, the songs on that album are not really timeless. Yes, because when they are checking the most stream Afro beats of all time, the video appear like number nine, and Whiskey, Bonner Boy, um, Rema appear at number three, followed by Siki at number four. Right? So, if he can actually work towards getting a body of work, a body of work, a complete body of work that we relate to the topic of that album, trust me, it's going to bring a, something different to his career entirely. You understand 
first a song first songwriters second building an album intentionally you understand to be a body of work that people can listen to and they understand what he's talking about like i always say those that are rising are more powerful than those that are rising i know david don't always collaborate with the upcoming artists i love that thing about him once you are popping he collaborates with you to get to the top but the only thing he needs to do right now is to get the grassroots songwriters to help him elevate his craft to a level whereby he will beat every competition so we say that grammy winning a grammy is not a validation <laughs> but it's actually a validation because if it is not davido will not be working so hard to get that grammy there is only one nigerian artist that had, that actually got in a grammy and that is Burner boy yes i know you say whiskey also got a grammy whiskey got a grammy for music video not his body of work. Bonner Boy got a Grammy for the album. Do you understand? But I know that Whiskey is getting a Grammy very soon. Actually, he's getting it very soon. And hopefully, Davido will get the Grammy very soon. So if this video can get to the video and he watch it and he reach out to me, good. And trust me, I can be a ghost. I can be a ghost advisor. Nobody's gonna know. Directly, nobody's gonna know that I'm actually advising anybody. I can be behind the scene and just recommending people to him. And trust me, we can sign an NDA. I'm not, I'm not going to tell anybody about it. So if you're not to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell button so you don't miss other amazing videos like this. I remain Prince Teofilos, a talent manager, a promoter, and the founder of Tip Soul Entertainment. Thank you for watching.